All right, defending national champ, NAI national champ, Adam Kabala. Adam, man, I'll tell you what, you look good with that Falcons behind you, man. Looks good, looks good. Adam, uh, big duel coming up this weekend. Uh, you actually have to wrestle number one guy in the country, uh, Reese Humphrey. Okay, and last year you had to wrestle, uh, what, you had to wrestle your old high school teammate? Yeah, last year I had to wrestle Jaggers two years in a row, um, wrestling the number one ranked kid in the country at 141 pounds in D1, and uh, myself being uh, number one at 141 in NAI, it's, it's always fun though. I'm excited. You know, wrestling the best competition in the country, you can't go wrong. It only makes you better. All right, you guys are ranked number two uh, in the NAI. You guys, you're the defending champion, the leader of the team. I was watching you and you and Primus were going pretty hard. It was a good go, actually. Uh, you know, talk about being the leader of the team. You know, last year, last go around, what's it going to mean to you to try and you know bring home a, a second title and a team title? Um, you know, this year, I'm just trying to have a good time, just trying to have fun. Um, I say it all the time. You know, I just lacks a little attitude. I mean, still working hard. My work workout partners are great. Uh, Primus, Strawn, Pelton, um, Brian Dean. You know, those guys all around me. They just make me better. We all push each other. Um, in terms of national title. They can't take last year's away. It's not like they can come to my house, you know, and take it off the wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> I never I, thought of it that I, way. I have it already. You know, um, I don't really look at it as defending one. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm actually chasing another one. But, um, you know, this year I'm trying to definitely lead the team to hopefully get a, a, a team title as well. You know, last year we, we, we were building, you know, and every year that, you know, it's fourth, fifth years of the program coming up. And, um you know, of course you're going to start with your lows, but every year we seem to be getting better and better and better. And this year we're ranked number two, and uh, I think people are yet to see the talent that we have. You know what I mean? Uh, like I was naming off some of those guys, and just those guys were all All-Americans last year, um, plus with the exception of the guys coming in. So I think we can make a huge impact, you know, in the country, if not possibly win it. Okay, like you got, you said, there's no day off here, man. You, you named off some, some tough guys, man. Multiple times state champions, uh, all guys who originally signed with, with D1 schools. Uh, you yourself were an old Dominion, what, a monarch? Yeah. Monarch. Okay, you were with Coach Martin. Talk about the difference between what you saw with Coach Martin and how he ran things and maybe how Coach Romano runs things. Um, you know, Coach Martin, uh, he's an intense guy. He's a great guy, you know what I mean? He, he knows the sport, loves the sport. Um, I also uh, was fortunate, you know, I've been fortunate enough to get uh, coaches from all sorts of different backgrounds, you know, uh, Lee Pritz, he coaches at Missouri now, um, I know he coached Ashton Primus, who's one of my uh, workout partners, uh, and Martin down there, um, I had Storniolo for a year, uh, um, John Cerritos, you know, but uh, I come up here and, and I like it because I bring what I learned at Old Dominion even for a year and a half, and I bring it up here. And I combine it with the things I learned from uh, Coach Romano, you know, from, from, from the past, you know, Ohio State, Kent State, and, um, you know, plus other coaches. And it's also great having coaches that have coached me since I was, you know, five years old coming all the way up. With, Can we uh, give Tony Ralph no love? Anthony Ralph, yeah. yeah and, uh, Eddie Govang, uh, um, Jeff Jaggers. Those guys have been coaching me since I was a young kid. So they know me better than anybody else. And, uh, you know, it's great. It's, it's great here. Okay, Firebirds this year. Give me a little Firebird preview, preview man. Where are they going to be? They're going to they're gonna be at Ironman? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I, I haven't been uh, in the loop too much over there with them yet. You know, I go up there sometimes and work out with those guys. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they they got a good team. they got a full lineup, and uh, hopefully they can they can do pretty good this year, make a good impact in D3. So. Okay. If there's one thing you want people to know about what Adam Cabal has left here, you know, the legacy you've left, you're the second national champ here. For the Falcons, you know, what would you want people to know that, about what you do here every day? Um, I think what I want people to know here is that it, it's more than just wrestling around here. You know, we have a small school. Coach Coach Romano says it all the time. It's a small school, but a really big program. You know, um, we can recruit and get kids from all over the country, D1, but we're also taking care of business in the in the classroom. You know, we t had two academic All Americans last year, along with uh, five academic or five All Americans on the mat. You know what I mean? And, and we're trying to get degrees. Ultimately, that's what it's about. You know what I mean? It, the school aspect. And um, the fact that it's so small here, we're, we're such a close-knit group, and everybody knows everybody, which can be a good or a bad thing sometimes. <laughs> but uh, I think when it comes to wrestling, the aspect that we're so close, you know, we're building a culture here. And every weekend, you know, we go somewhere to wrestle. And I see more and more fans, you know, parents, friends, you know, uh, teammates, everybody just comes and supports wearing Notre Dame wrestling gear. So I think that's a great thing that's it's building here at Notre Dame. All right, Adam. Good luck this year, man. I'll be talking to you throughout the season, and uh, hopefully you can bring another title back here, man. Yeah, definitely. Thank you.